Atelier de Champs. Now let's talk about everything wrong with the M2 MacBook Air. Yes, all the issues with this laptop, and it's a great laptop. Don't get me wrong, this thing is amazing, but nothing's perfect. Now I do have a few videos on this. You might want to check them out. Link in the description. And if you do want anything tested on this thing or you got one, let me know what you think of it. And do you guys reckon it's actually any good? So first of all, let's get into the price. Everybody's talking about the price and yes, it's like $200 more expensive than the MacBook Air, the M1 version. Now I'm not saying it's not worth it at all. And I'm with you with all this inflation, everything is out of control. Have you seen the prices of laptops? This is not just exclusive to these Apple products here, let me tell you now. And you would think that Apple, of all companies, would be the one that could soak up these extra costs due to, you know, extra shipping costs, fuel prices, inflation out of control because the governments are printing too much money, corporate greed, shortages of everything, and, of course, the pandemic. I guess this is just a friendly reminder that Apple are not your friends. They are a for-profit corporation and they ain't going to take the hit of all that stuff. They're going to pass that cost on to you. But here's the reality. They're going to sell a ton of these and it doesn't matter what you think, I think, or Jimmy the Greek thinks. It doesn't matter to Apple and they'll just say, well, if you want something less expensive, just buy the M1 Mac. And I would actually recommend you do that unless you have to have the latest design or you are a video editor where the new media engines in the M2 will make a difference there. I'll definitely be going to M1 if you just want to ultrabook for general use yeah don't even bother with this that being said if i compare other laptops that cost around the same amount of money this m2 macbook air stacks up very well if not better than all of them and the reality is its best competition really is the m1 macbook air it's the only thing that can sort of get close unless you want to spend more money like xps's and stuff like that but they cost more now another small issue with this is it's called the macbook air yet it's not as light as air is it it is 1.24 kilos and don't pound me or actually do pound me as long as you're greek but i think that's 2.7 pounds if i'm correct now i have seen windows laptops i've reviewed a few they're light 13 14 inch laptops are about one kilo or 1.2 pounds so it's like 0.5 pounds heavier than like the competition in the air space you know the light laptop space so maybe it should be called chungus air chungus or something i don't know but there are lighter laptops in the same class ssd speeds or usb problems still there oh man i was praying and hoping this wasn't the issue with the m2s and if you don't know the two usbs on there or two thunderbolt ports are actually discrete they're separate channels they're not sharing the same bandwidth so that is amazing but you're still not getting full ssd speeds out of some usb drives so be careful what you use make sure you've seen it reviewed and the mac is getting the full speed out of it because the one i have here is amazing it is an awesome ssd it doesn't throttle it's just wow around 200 megabytes per second short of speeds on the m1 mac on the m2 mac any mac with m in the name actually the intel Macs, it's full speed so i don't know what to tell you there still problems with the usb another issue is display out you still can only use one display this is probably one of the biggest issues for me maybe it's beyond the scope of what these are designed for how many people would be using more than one display but still it sucks that you can only use one external display you would think that this is a new chip that would work out a way to do it but no it is what it is one display a problem for me Another issue that everybody's going on about and I couldn't give a stuff about is the thermal throttling. Honestly, within the scope of what this laptop is designed for, you're never going to thermally throttle it. I think most people that use these are general use. These will be awesome for music production, photography and video editing if you're all using HEVC, H.264 and ProRes. But outside of that, you don't want to be doing hardcore heavy duty stuff on this laptop. It's not a pro. It's not meant to be doing that stuff. And I think it's a whole bunch of handbags, to be honest. Um, definitely a storm in a teacup. Don't worry for what you're using it for. Most likely, it's not going to throttle new pro users. You're not going to buy this anyway, right? You're going to buy the pro. That's what you should be doing. Now, another issue is this is a brand new design in 2022 and it still has thick bezels and a notch for me i don't really care that much but come on apple you're supposed to be the best at design right wrong i'll show you here an xps 13 from 2020 smaller bezels than the macbook air and it fits a webcam in without a notch now a lot of people are saying oh it's okay to have the notch because you're getting extra real estate up there but the bezels are so big you can fit a webcam up there now i have a theory let me know how i'm going here the 
new iPhone 14 is going to have a new face ID. It's going to have a new module. It's not going to have the big notch, right? I think they're going to put face ID in these laptops. Now, this ain't a new theory, but what I think is stopping them from doing it is they cannot produce enough face ID modules for the iPhone and laptops. Just because, you know, iPhone is the most important thing. They've got to have enough face ID modules for that. So that means the laptops miss out for now. Going forward, because the new iPhones are going to be using a different Face ID module, then that will free up a whole heap of Face ID modules that can go into the laptops. This is what I think is going to happen and I hope it's going to happen. Otherwise, why have you got that notch there? Like seriously. Anyway, they're the issues I've had with it. Other than that, it's an amazing laptop and you know stuff priced around its price range yeah it's really hard to beat it is a good laptop and the thing is here stick within the scope of what it's designed for and you're going to love this thing uh yeah i'll catch you in the next one guys tally ho